हाइपरटेंसिव रेटिनोपैथी इट इज अ स्पेक्ट्रम ऑफ रेटिनल वैस्कुलर चेंजेस दैट इज पैथोलॉजिकली रिलेटेड विथ परसिस्टेंट माइक्रो वैस्कुलर डैमेज एलोंग विथ रेज इन दीपू एंड वॉट इज द पैथोजेनेसिस बिहाइंड द हाइपरटेंसिव रेटिनोपैथी देर आर यूजली थ्री पैथोजेनेसिस दैट इज द एसोसिएटेड फैक्टर इज भी ए एंड अदर इज दी भाषो कंस्ट्रिक्शन आर्टेरोस्क्लेरोसिस एंड इंक्रीज इन द परमिएबिलिटी द रेज बी पी कॉजेज दिज ऑल द फैक्टर्स ड्यू टू द रेज इन द ब्लड प्रेशर इट कॉजेज भाषो कंस्ट्रिक्शन इट कॉजेज आर्टेरोस्क्लेरोसिस एंड इंक्रीज द परमिएबिलिटी from the capillary which results in the leakage of the blood vessel or the ability so this is the pathogenesis behind the hypertensive retinopathy now we need to uh, classify or grading is done for the hypertensive retinopathy and how the grading is done is according to the uh, keith and wegener type of uh, classification keith and wegener have classified graded the uh, hypertension in four grade keith and wegener four grade grade 1 2 3 and 4 and what is the difference look uh, for grade 1 usually uh, uh, we will see the av crossing means arteriovenous crossing mein dekhenge or the first uh, usually the artery is seen then artery is attenuated attenuation means narrowing of the artery is seen uh, but that is diffuse type diffuse and mild form of attenuation now coming to the vein vein there is concealment in the vein while looking at the vein it shows concealment uh, vein and the other is the Uh, my mild form of light reflex is also seen. Light reflex is very mild form. And how to remember? Uh, then uh, V A L, okay? V A L grade one and grade two is S A L. Means what? There is uh, solu sign. Solu sign means what? S A L U. Solu sign means when the uh, there is. Mm, deflection of the vein at the av crossing means uh, solu sign s for solu sign a for attenuation attenuation becomes c for type means there is large uh, degree of narrowing of the arteriole c for attenuation and then l is the light reflex which is exacerbated in the grade 2 now coming to the grade 3 look bhal and sal s a and l now coming to the third degree which shows all the features that is uh, above feature all are present along with that there are uh, some more features that could be look cotton wool spot that is soft exudate cotton wool spot other is flame sapped hemorrhage that is a uh, superficial when the superficial artery or the nerve fiber are involved then flame sapped hemorrhage is uh, usually seen flame sapped hemorrhage bonnet sign is seen and what is bonnet sign bonnet sign means banking of the vein distal to av crossing bonnet sign banking of the vein is known as bonnet sign and then other is the exudate that could be hard or soft exudate hard exudate exudate means one and two are very easy hard and sal if you can remember then one and two are completed but regarding three also know that the three includes all the features like cotton wool spot flame sapped hemorrhage bonnet sign hard exudate retinal edema copper wiring retinal edema is also seen in retinal edema and copper wiring these all are the specific point for the uh, this grade 3 grade 4 has very few uh, uh, additional point that is in addition to these all above three uh, it also includes silver wiring along with papilloid the look is two only when silver wiring or uh, silver wiring or papilloid is added then that is grade 4 this was known as keith and wegner's grading technique for 
hypertension. Now we will classify the hypertension according to clinical method. And how it is clinically uh, classified? Usually the clinical diagnosis is uh, made on four types of uh, according to the hypertension. Look, uh, in the first one, there is uh, hypertension along with sclerosis. Second is without sclerosis. The third is compensatory sclerosis. And fourth is malignant hypertension. Clinical classification is made via four types. Four. एक नंबर में क्या हो गया हाइपरटेंशन विथ इनवोल्यूशनरी स्क्लेरोसिस सेकेंड विदाउट स्क्लेरोसिस हाइपरटेंशन विदाउट स्क्लेरोसिस थर्ड इज विथ हाइपरटेंशन विथ Compensatory sclerosis. Sclerosis is in. and the fourth is the malignant hypertension type. And what is the feature inside this? Usually the feature are uh, similar to those uh, grading system means you can see edema, you can see hemorrhage, you can see exudate means hard and soft exudate wall and you can see the uh, AV crossing. Uh, during the AV crossing you can see the nipping, uh, nipping of the arterioles uh, and along with the perpendicular placement of the vein that is known as Goon sign. Now coming to the uh, who are the patient seen in with uh, involutionary sclerosis. They are usually elderly patient. Elderly patient and the feature we discussed right now. Those all the clinical features in the Keith and Wegener are found in hypertensive radiculopathy. And who are the patient who suffer from uh, without sclerosis? They are usually young patient, young patient uh, with who are exposed to high BP. And compensatory sclerosis is seen in the young patient with prolonged benign hypertension. This was uh, very uh, they were exposure to the increased BP uh, for um, a small duration of time but these are young but uh, with benign hypertension for benign hypertension for long time and malignant is for the this these are the all well known case of the hypertensive state and usually associated with renal insufficiency also malignant are associated with renal insufficiency so this uh, classification you should know and at last if hypertension is seen in a pregnant woman that is known as pregnancy induced hypertension or toxemia of pregnancy so uh, regarding toxemia of pregnancy one should know that it is not only a single uh, increase in the bp it is used associated with three symptoms toxemia of pregnancy has three symptoms and what are those three symptoms that could come uh, as rise in BP along with protein urea in the urine protein uh, urea and uh, with generalized edema these three features included in toxemia pregnancy now what are the mm, clinical stages uh, stages are uh, usually uh, toxemia starts with the inflammation stage. Uh, sorry, angiospasm stage. Angiospasm होगा सबसे पहले vasoconstriction के जैसे और uh, angiospasm में uh, narrowing of the arteriole, spasmodic contraction. These are the structures. Now, after angiospasm, there will be sclerosis stage in the vessel. Sclerosis stage of the vessel. Uh, and at last there is a stage of retinopathy and at last retinopathy comes and in retinopathy you can easily see hemorrhage, retinal edema, exudate and retinal detachment means all the disease can related to the retina can be seen in the toxemia of the pregnancy and how will you treat a hypertensive retinopathy or a toxemia the most common and the most uh, important measure is to control the BP 
so all the treatment modality includes control the bp by giving antihypertensive drug uh, according to the patient's uh, state so this was the and furthermore we can uh, uh, tell them to restrict salt to uh, take uh, uh, ANC visit and in this case ANC visit uh, can be uh, complete ANC visit uh, should be taken uh, by the patient in the pregnancy but the treatment modality is usually antihypertensive thank you